so we will be creating a project right from scratch and we will try to communicate it uh, with uh, python snap 7 library okay so i'll just create a new project i'll call it snap 7 demo and uh, i'll create it and uh, as soon as it gets created we will do uh, some configurations like first we will add a plc then uh, we will add uh, uh, the we will change its ip address to our required uh, directory and uh, uh, required uh, i mean uh, required ip address we will set it we just now add the plc for now i will uh, i will add uh, 1500 plc cpu 1511 i will select this and uh, i will select the latest uh, version of the plc We have to give it, it uh, some time. Sometimes it's get uh, it gets uh, slow. Just like this. And uh, okay, now it's added. So we will be using PLC Sim Advance. Configure and download this. So I'll you know, parallel start PLC Sim Advance six point two. I will use this single adapter. Uh, I will. I also have Python Snap Seven already assigned instance name. I will just start this. Now that uh, it is started, I will just close this. Uh, setup configurations. I will just remove this protection setup. Then I will hit enter, next, enable access control, next, next, finish. Okay. In this PLC properties, see, uh, first of all, you can see the rack 0 and slot 1. Remember this. We need this in the Python logic. Then just to go here. Over. Okay. Not this, it should be in protection and security. And uh, here, no access is granted. Here, so first of all, we will we need a full access. So, we'll go in uh, security, security settings, users and roles, and uh, roles. Create a new user. We will call it uh, role and uh, select this uh, and select this runtime rights. Close this drop down. Expand this uh, runtime rights. Select the PLC and here select full access. Okay. And in users, anonymous users, select. Okay. And uh, select rule. Okay. Now this is done. Go to configurations of PLC again. Go to properties. And uh, we must uh, see full access is given. And now we need to enable gate put. Find gate put. I just uh, I think it must be somewhere here in communication system clock, system diagnostics, operating mode. Can you see somewhere? Operating mode, protection security, access controls, information. So here you can see this permit get put enable. 
so we need to tick it now uh, get put enable is done and uh, parallelly we also need to select this right click on this project go to properties i am using uh, simulations uh, plc sim advanced so i need to support uh, tick this support for simulations and virtual plc's okay now my project is done all the necessary configurations in plc are set uh, let's check the ip as well so i just go here see the ip address is also set 192.168.0.1 i'll just select this and uh, click download button uh, after this download we will uh, go to python and uh, check for communication so as soon as this gets downloaded see here the instance is running so once the download is complete we will uh, Python logic what is finished we can go online to this and uh, see everything must be clean now here is our python logic so what we'll do is we'll just run this much code and uh, we'll not run this while loop so i will just uh, comment out this completely everything is commented out so this function won't run and we'll see this okay here you can see this client we'll just uh, print it this value if this value is true this means the plc is connected if it is false plc is not connected so here is the ip address here is the rack and this is slot which i told you which we get from the rack 0 slot 1 then once we will run this code we will take uh, we'll check it. first we will just uh, ping and see if the plc is uh, within range ping 192.168.0.1 so the plc is within range so I'll just run this command. Snapshot object. Okay. Client is connected, and uh, it is showing here. Uh, we can see this. 